I've created a set of tools that are useful for turning microscopy images, especially fluorescent microscopy images and time series into publication quality figures. I'm going to show you how to use the most handy tools in this video and in later videos. If you run my ImageJ plugin, then a set of toolbars will appear. The most critical tools are within my main toolbar. If you have a multi-channel stack open in ImageJ, like this stack right here, you can create a figure simply by going over to my Object Tools toolbar and clicking the Quick Figure button, which is this button right here. That instantly creates a figure, replacing dozens of steps. Editing the figures you've generated is very easy. It can be done in an intuitive way by clicking and dragging certain items. Right-clicking on items will bring up pop-up menus that will allow you to do virtually anything you'd like to the figures. Most edits just make sense. This is meant to be a fairly self-explanatory user interface, but I will explain a few details. One can spend a lot of time triple and quadruple checking to make sure the format of every set of panels in every figure is 100% consistent before publication. Quick Figures makes this process pretty much effortless. If you have a figure with any inconsistencies in the format between sets of panels, one can fix that with the figure format menu. There we go. One can also align sets of panels very easily with the align menu. And voila, one has made a professional looking scientific figure. The final steps for finishing a publication quality figure is usually done in Adobe Illustrator or similarly powerful software. The figures which you've created using the Quick Figures toolset can actually be moved into Adobe Illustrator. Right now I have a figure open. If I go over to this little icon right here, to, I can generate an Illustrator script, and I can run that Illustrator script in Adobe Illustrator and it takes a second, but Adobe Illustrator will then generate an identical figure with all of the panels. Uh, each of these objects uh, is a separate editable object uh, in Adobe Illustrator, and the Adobe Illustrator layers are already a facsimile of the layers that we had. You can simply go to the image menu and go to the export submenu and this will give you some options to export the file or you can simply copy it to the system clipboard. Quick Figures is also helpful with a lot of routine edits. In this example I have images that are quite large and show empty space that doesn't include the cell that I'm trying to show. I can simply right click on one of them and go to figure and recrop all images. And now I can change my region of interest by either dragging the handles or putting in specific dimensions in these places. Uh, once I'm done editing it, I hit OK. It will ask me about the second image and the third image. Uh, every image has been cropped to the same size. I could have chosen different sizes for them if I wanted. And as you can see, this figure looks a lot nicer. In scientific figures, we often depict one or more cells in a large panel. Meanwhile, having smaller panels depicting certain regions of interest at a higher level of magnification. I have a tool that is extremely handy in making these types of figures. Now to create a few smaller panels, I'm going to use this tool over here, the inset tool. I, I've just clicked on it. And when I go over to this image, I can simply click and drag the mouse to create a region of interest. 
and this creates a set of panels over to the right. I can add additional panels simply by drawing another region of interest, and this is a figure at this point. I can manipulate these uh, regions of interest, I can rotate them, or I can change their size. as uh, is appropriate for whatever figure that I'm trying to make. There's also a set of options for this tool that appears if you double click the tool icon. Uh, this is the window for those options. You can change the tool options in a few different ways, changing the border between panels, the scale, and the position. I first would want to get rid of uh, these regions of interest by simply right clicking and hitting remove and remove and then I create a new region of interest simply by drawing it using that tool and notice that the magnification level and the border between panels is now larger than it, they were before and of course the positioning of the panels is different.